too far. This is the life. This is the life. This ain't the life. This ain't the life. Far. What's going on, y'all? Love and hip hop at no. Love and hip hop Hollywood season one episode three. I feel like we're getting there. We're getting there a little bit. We're getting there swiftly and professionally. But I feel like this episode was a lot of shit is drawn out. It's too many goddamn people. But let's go and get into it. Ray J showing up to the goddamn scene with like a goddamn UPS motherfucking delivering hoes. We've been serving hoes and delivering packages to hoes and dirty panties and dirty bras and used ass motherfucking money stat pills to hoes since 1950. Okay, go through, come through UPS. So Ray J show up and he and Tierra Marie and Hazel Big Nose ass going in. Okay, um, they going in and then all of a sudden I guess Mona Scott said she got on the phone. She said, "Bitch, you need to show up to the scene, throw that whole shit on the ground." Throw that whole throw that whole shit in the circle. Throw it on the circle on the ground. And that's what the fuck she did. And I'm like, how the hell did Ray J know where the hell what's the name was he Tierra Marie was it? And you could tell it was a little fake. But I love that Ray J kept his composure because when what's the name shoved the dog shit out of his ass. Shoved the shit. Okay, I'm giving y'all two two five. I'm giving y'all Beyonce mine, cause baby, that's what took me so long. Doing the damn review, and I apologize, but I was somebody had me held up, and I had a really, really good conversation with them. But y'all don't give a fuck about this shit, okay? That's another story. I'll let y'all know if y'all get another in my fucking feelings video part three, okay? But Tierra Marie, Tierra, you uh, pushed the shit out of Ray J. Ray J wasn't here for it, but he held his composure. Um, Hazel used uh, nose dive. It wasn't very effective, okay? She tried to shove his ass out of there with her nose, shovel his ass out of there, and um, Ray J eventually got out of there and all that type of shit. But she was like, I, 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 me and my, even though my, even my girl got into it, I still got to keep it down for her. I still got to keep it right and all that type of shit. I was just like, okay, hey, girl, go sit down. Um, Let's go and get into Soldier Boy, Soldier Girl, Soldier whatever. Before I even get into this type of shit, let's talk about the fact that Kate Michelle is not homophobic for um, calling Soldier Boy out. Um, Kate Michelle just spilled tea. Um, she's just like, bitch, you ain't comfortable in your shit. I'm going to put you out. I've already talked about this shit. I don't think Kate Michelle is a homophobic person. I just think she was just ignorant and she just she was ignorant to that type of shit. But we all can be, we can say things that might come off as offensive about somebody. You know, I might make a joke about somebody, you know, a while back about somebody having Down syndrome. That's ignorant for me to say something like that. And I would never say anything like that again. But it's all a learning process. But I don't think she is um, homophobic. I know that y'all don't really give a fuck about this shit. But Soldier Boy, let me go and get into your motherfucking ass. Okay, long lay into your ass. Because you talk all this shit on Twitter talking about you got money. You worth millions of dollars. But bitch, not only did you have... you, I mean, girl, you were laid in a motherfucking Ashley Furniture fucking reject ass sleigh bed. I mean, bitch, I can go get me a sleigh bed too on credit. I mean, Soldier Boy, for somebody that has plenty of money... I would think that you had one of them big ass beds with the big ass like the headboard. Girl, your headboard should not be shaking. If you fucking like you saying you you be, your headboard should be connected to your. You was in that little. I mean, that house looked nice, but there was nothing in it for someone who claims to have money, plenty of money. I just expected really nice shit. I mean, when you, I mean, come on, like that was just pitiful. You were in a sleigh bed, bitch. When you getting ready to call Prancer Dashing and Vixen and uh, getting them somewhere, I mean. When you get ready to deliver your fucking whack ass CDs to everybody, cause I was not here for it. Cause girl, I don't you ain't gonna you ain't you ain't got to go to a, a billion motherfucking house because none of us want that bullshit. Okay, but she was in a sleigh bear, a sleigh bed, girl. I just didn't get that. So that's a fool. Nia talking about some she done playing house. We can play house. Nia, you should have known that in the beginning with your dumb ass. Okay, you knew you were talking to a goddamn stupid ass crackhead. I don't know why you're so shocked and why you're so bamboozled. He he just ain't doing what he's supposed to do. He that's when you doing it, Nia girl. Uh, your ass. I don't. I just don't know what to say about you because 
Me, I would have never put my daughter, and I hope this is for all TV, so I'm going to go in on your ass. I hope all of this shit was fake because you, why would you move in with this man like that? that that's really stupid. But girl, I'm going to come back on your ass. I got something special, very special for your dumb ass. Um, Amarion, I'm so tired of your ass trying to talk like you got some sense, like you're educated. The only person I'm liking on this show really, really, really is Fizz, little Fizz. I'm loving him. But Amaria, you trying to sound so educated and you look dumb as a motherfucker trying to explain to somebody why the fuck you taking care of your grown ass goddamn mama. That shit makes no damn sense and I do not understand it. Your mother is grown as hell. I can see if she was suffering from cancer or something, that type of shit, but she look like she doing good. She look like her mouth work and she like she can walk. So that means she need to be getting how she fit it. I'm not, I'm not saying she need to be a prostitute, but girl, I've always been taught if, if it's wet and it's hot, uh, um, what it has to say and go, um, you, you, wet pussy, you should never have no dry purse, honey. That's all I've been taught. I know that might be offensive, but women, y'all better use that charm on a man and get your bills paid. Because, baby, it's 2014. Some of y'all fucking and sucking for free, girl, and I don't understand it. You're fucking and sucking for free, and your light's still off. And you, you can't, you're late on bills. You can't pay your car note. Shit getting repoed, girl. That ain't making no goddamn sense. So I don't know what's going on. I'm going to have to get some of my friends. To give some of these women some class on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood or some of the people on my... Because I this don't make no goddamn shit. And Mario was going in and talking about this shit. But I guess the, I guess he coming up with a new clothing line. Because he had a... Oh! In a hole. A pity with a hole in it. Okay? He had a big ass hole in that damn blue shirt. But Mario, I guess it matched that big ass hole in your goddamn drawn ass beard. Okay? Moving on. What else we talking about? Hazel E. Sitting her ass up in the damn, getting her toes filed. She should have told him to get that goddamn filing thing and file that big ass dick looking nose. Hazel E, less is more, okay? And me and my friend were talking about that earlier today. Your nose is too goddamn big. There is not enough MAC, there's not enough contour, or whatever, to make your nose look small, honey. You just gonna have to take off all the goddamn makeup. You look like, I mean, girl, you look like you got a long ass dick on your nose with girth. And, I, and it, you look like you have an uncut, I mean, not even, you look like you have a cut penis on your head, I mean, on your nose. And it's just, it's scaring me, okay? And I just want you to stop wearing, you got all that, all that caked up ass makeup and you just like a big nose. You know who you look like? You look like the, it's a Caucasian singer. What is her, Liza Minnelli? I think, not, not Liza Minnelli, I don't know where I got that from. What is that woman name? I think she's Jewish. She got a really, really big nose. And she, uh, Barbara Streisand. Baby, your nose is serving me, Barbara Streisand, honey. Your nose is hideous. Stop wearing on the goddamn makeup, um, Hazy. That's all I got for you. You and that damn, and you have some girl, I don't know. It's just too many people. It's too many people on the show. It's too many people. So we get to um, Mystery Meat House, okay, Mystery Mal, and baby, the Scooby Doo machine. Showed up at uh, Mr. Malley house the other day at the FBI. Kicked his goddamn door in, bitch. Are you running a sex? Are you got motherfucking trafficking going on under this house or some shit? I guess that's why you got all these monkeys and animals and oh my. Because you got plenty. I mean, you are you selling are you selling women off? Because if you are, bitch, you need to be in taking part 3.5, okay? I'm not understanding. You know, I'm not surprised because he looked like it. He... He around here shopping around with, um, I think, um, what's her name? Mizika, or whatever. The girl was getting off of the goddamn jet. Keep up, because there's so many people. I know y'all. Mizika, whatever her damn name. She around here fucking with her ass, and they pooching around in the damn store. And it was some bad. Y'all need to go get Soldier Booker. He need to be in there buying some of their $5,500 um, lamps and shit to build in that empty-ass house. Soldier Booker, there's no reason why you got that much goddamn money and your house Look like it just looked terrible, okay? But girl, you finna have a goddamn um a housewarming and that Chuck E. Cheese ass goddamn party, okay? I'm gonna get to that shit in a minute. Understanding why the fuck they going in and talking it, so I get and it just looked so orchestrated. Mona Scott, nigga Scott Young, I know you came up with this shit, okay? So Amanda telling Fields, you know, I met up with Monice and you know we talked and da da da. And she went in all that type of shit. So Fields was like, you know. What, what, you know, this shit, da, da, da. I'm like, girl, y'all completely having a real discussion in front of these folks. Like, girl, that's some shit we're going to talk about later. Is my steak ready? I'm not going to have that kind of discussion with some. I just thought this shit was real stupid. But Mona Scott Young wrongs everything, so it really does not matter. Uh, what else was going on? 
Let me talk about Nikki, the motherfucking beast. And I'm going to start calling your ass Nike, honey. Because you built like whatever the fuck we want to be. Just do it, face ass bitch. Okay? Nikki, you have had so much damn plastic surgery. I can't, I mean, I, I just, I don't, you just don't even look right. You don't even look human. You don't even look real. And, and, and I just, and I hate it so much because you don't look like you, you're not a fun looking girl. Just like you had too much shit going on. And baby, I can't wait to see your mom in the next episode because she like, she had a Beijing lineup. And that shit was a damn fool. So, um, she talking to Mally and shit. So, I'm guessing Mally, Mr. and me, that's what I'm going to call his ass, is talking to Nikki and he's talking to, um, Mazik or whatever. Child, that's some foolishness and fuckery that I just don't understand. That's just some shit I just don't I don't get. Um, I don't. I don't understand. It. It's like Nikki talking about some. She got a promise ring. Bitch, Sierra had a promise ring too. And look what the fuck happened. Okay, you, you. I mean, God. I mean, what do you? If you ain't got the damn, even bitches that have the ring, even women and men, everybody who have the ring still get cheated on. So, just, bitch, you got a promise ring. That don't mean shit, ho. It's like a goddamn ring pop, bitch. I eat that shit and move on by myself and move on by my goddamn business. Okay, so that shit was stupid. I don't want to talk about that shit anymore. I want to talk about the fact that Tierra Marie can actually sing. I did not know that. She put up a video on Facebook, and she was actually blowing. Okay? And she was not blowing that damn fake-ass tattoo on her damn, under her titty or Ray J. But she can actually sing. But, child, y'all know how we get in. But folks, um, getting into the studio, honey, she done blew the dust off the damn mic and, and fucking big nose ass, big nose ass, goddamn, um, Hazel, I guess she smelt the shit. She said, where the damn smoke, where this dust and shit come from? So she popped her ass in, she talking to her, they didn't have disagreement, whatever, and they live together. So they talking and shit and blah, 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 and she just like, it seemed like Hazel was trying to come in and just be... Girl, this ain't what it is. Let's get it together. Let's be friends. And Tia and Marie just like, bitch, get money. Um, I need to be on this show. So let me turn it up and turn it up on your ass. And it was just a fool. I don't understand it. So Fizz ended up meeting up with Moniece. And Moniece has given us all these damn excuses and shit. Da, 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 why she can't afford. And girl, Moniece, you talking all this shit about what you can't afford. But you got on these pretty ass shoes, pretty ass hair and all this, I mean, you just lay and you beat. I would rather respect for you the fact that, you know, you had your child, you look broke, busted, and disgusted, instead of you being all laid and shit, and then you don't have your child. And then you sit here talking about some, I'm busting my ass to do what I get to, to get my son. No, girl, you should have been busting your ass in the beginning before you had your motherfucking son, okay? Catch them motherfucking teeth. I just didn't understand it. So, Lafayette, I feel like Lafayette, the way he came at Moniz, I'm loving Little Fizz and Moniz's storyline. I'm loving Little Fizz because I feel like he's about the only grown man on the show, and the way he was talking. But Lafayette, you was giving me, man, shit, I don't understand this shit. I don't understand why you can't get your shit together. Don't come in here with that sugar-coated shit, because like Justin J said, it's still sugar-coated shit. I just did not understand what was the purpose. Away with you bitches. I just didn't, I didn't get why she was crying. She was crying. I, so, and I just, uh, I'm just like, girl, go sit your dumb ass down somewhere. It's just stupid. Moniece, girl, you look really stupid, huh? I just, I didn't, you can keep them fake ass tears. I don't know what you're crying for. You need to be doing what you got to do. You need to go pawn them damn shoes and try to be paying the tuition on your, for your son. Okay. But that's a whole nother story. Let me get back on Soulja Boy. Girl, you and this Chuck and Cheese where a kid can be a kid ass party. Like, you, I'm just so sick of you. If you just, if you would have never talked about how much money you were worth and your network, I would have never dragged your ass. But the fact that you had these folks dancing on this damn Jolly Royal ass damn leather couch and turning up with Mona Scott's fucking minions and shit, they turn, t turn it up in front of this damn little bit ass TV. So, boys, money you have, I don't think you have a TV in the damn wall or something. It's just, I don't know if this is just some house that's just your trap house. This is where you snort your coke and you do your, your, your smoke the crack. But you're not, you, I, I know it's a place that you're not putting your damn lip chap on. I suggest you go get some. Go get you a, 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 get you a pink one. Okay? Go get you, and get them, get, get them together. Because there's no excuse for you to be worth this much money, allegedly. And then your lips look like that. Okay, they woke up like this, dry as shit. 
Okay? Look like a dusty, cropped-ass booty hole. I hate it. What else is going on? Um, oh, yeah. Huh? And, and then the way he talked to Naya. Naya, you a dumb. You are a dumb hoe in my Kenya voice. Okay? Kenya Moore voice. You are a dumb hoe, girl. Me, and I'm not calling you a hoe. I'm just saying you're really stupid. You're... There's no way a man will be talking to me, and I don't. I would have never moved my um, child in with a man that's so stupid. You want him to act like a grown ass man? This nigga started off taking pictures with motherfucking big ass glasses that had Soldier Boy on them shades, and big ass white tees and jeans. Girl, he has a lot of shit to go. And he growing. He aging. He's giving us Benjamin Button tees. He's aging faster than his fucking faster than his spirit. Okay, he's not mature enough, honey. So leave his dumb ass alone. Just leave him alone. He He's the opposite of Benjamin Button. He growing motherfucker old, but he just is fucking, he's still acting like a child. It's like he's getting stupid. Even more stupid. And Nia, I just thought, Anaya, whatever your damn is, I, you just, I don't understand why you had your child over there with them damn recently bought ass damn Walker sets. And I just, it just was really stupid. Um, I don't want to talk about this shit. Mama O. You need to sit your dumb ass down to somewhere too. You tell me you just an old lady looking for a handout or some shit. That's well, that's what I heard. But Mama O, Omarion's mother, you need to be getting your own goddamn income, okay? You tell me what you cannot be dependent on your child. And I cannot stand with parents do this shit. I brought you in here with my blood, sweat, and tears. Bitch, I didn't I was saying, bitch, I didn't ask to be here. Okay? I ain't asked to be here. You created me. So I'm just not understanding. You need to get you a man or a woman. Go get you a stud, honey. Them studs, baby, let me tell you something. I went to a damn pageant this weekend. And baby, a drag pageant, whatever show, it was wonderful. Shout out to um, um Vernon Terrell. Terrell, whatever. Terrell. I think it's Terrell. That's how you say it. Terrell and Eric taking me. It was wonderful. It was really fun. But baby, it was a stud up there tipping the damn drag queen 20th. Not no motherfucking dollars, not no fives, not no ten, not no two dollar bills, but motherfucking twenty. She was handing holes out like it was clinic, clinics tissue, and it was winter time. Okay, like somebody had just recently caught the flu. She was handing them out twenty dollar bills. So I suggest, Mama O, you go pooch your ass around, find some damn stud because they be having good ass jobs and good benefits. I have never, well, yes, I have. But you hardly ever see a broke stud, baby. I know too many of them. They got money, credit good, driving big, and got plenty of money. I'm about to go find me one, okay? I'm going to find me one of the, the Manny Fresh looking ones that's going to keep me warm in the wintertime, honey. Yes, God, and keep my lights and my cable on so I can continue to do reviews. <laughs> but that's what we're going to talk about. Um, I just don't want Mama O, I just, the disrespect that Mama O is giving um, Amarion's Girl, it's just, I can't deal with it. It's just too much. I Like, I know that's your mother, but mama needs to learn her their place. Because mama, you can't give me no pussy. And I don't want none if you're trying to give me some. You're a mother. You need to act like a mother. I don't understand. Some people, parents need to learn their roles. Mothers, mothers ain't supposed to be doing that. Just, it, they, they shouldn't be asking for all that type of shit. Especially when they have their own family. He has his own child. Get ready to come in this world. What you think he's going to take care of you for? Got to, you taking food out of his child's mouth. Like, girl, Amaria ain't slaying his sales like that like you say he is. I mean, like Mario say he is. Somebody he got a hefty, hefty shit, so he should have got her ass on Cigna, if that was the case. But let me go and hop on Miss Hazel E. Miss Hazel E. and Tierra Marie are roommates. For what reason, I don't know. But you know what? They said the cost of living in L.A. is very expensive, so I'm not surprised. But Hazel was packing that goddamn apartment up. It didn't look like it was shitting them up for the beginning. Because, Hazel, if you had been staying there two years, there was no reason why that carpet was looked like it was brand goddamn new. Did y'all catch that shit? Baby, I vacuum my carpet every goddamn day and put shit on the goddamn ground. My carpet don't look nowhere near like that, honey. So I, I, ain't, I ain't catching that shit. That shit is brand ain't. I don't think it was no furniture in the beginning. I, thought, I think it was some damn mattresses on the damn floor, to be honest. And, Hazel, for you to be... Girl, you need you got some more shit to be worried about and getting a man, huh? You need to be getting a bigger size apartment. You a grown ass woman. Girl, it's like you was in a goddamn dorm. Okay, you was in a goddamn dorm room. I, I hated it for you. What else is going on? What else was going on? Um And Tierra Marie and, and Tierra Marie showed up while um Hazel you getting this goddamn shit. Tierra Marie love her some goddamn Uber SUVs, baby. She stay baby, I know she got the app, but I know she is a recurring customer like 
like she don't never the surges don't never go up on her. She always doing good. Tia Marie always going cuss some motherfucker out in the backseat of a goddamn. And I know that that man want to tell her girl your meter is still running, honey. You still gonna you still gonna pay. I don't give a damn how long we out here cussing this damn hobgoblin nose ass girl. And child, they just talking and going off. And Tia Marie just saying you broke and I was a hall only fan. I'm just like to be honest, both of you hoes need each other because both of y'all late boots. I love Tia Marie Hazy. I don't know who you are. Really don't care who you are. Valley girl, that dumb ass shit. But, um, I don't know. It looked like, the way they did the editing, it looked like Tia Marie was about to go in and stomp the shit out of Hazel, but she did not. So I'm not understanding what's going on. So, we kind of, we kind of doing something. I'm still not, I'm still not obsessed with these. This Love and Hip Hop Hollywood, but it's getting there. Hopefully it will. Um, but y'all know how Mona Scott, she want her more bang for her buck, honey. She want every coin. She gonna drag this. She gonna squeeze goddamn blood from a goddamn turnip. Do you understand me? She gonna get every ounce, okay, that she deserves. But that's all I got. Um, y'all, what y'all think about the next episode? What y'all think gonna happen? Did I miss anything? And if I did, comment below. Follow me on Twitter, JustinJ232. Follow me on Instagram, JustinJ232. And follow me on Facebook, Mike, my Facebook page. And I will talk to you later. Goodbye. Juicy. So